Our objectives for this lesson are the following. Define rational expression. Distinguish rational function, rational equation, and rational inequality. Let's have a quick activity. I hope you still remember our lesson on evaluation of functions. There, I have shown how to evaluate different types of functions. Now, let us match the type of a function with its corresponding example. If quadratic, then the highest value of the exponent is 2, so it is here. For absolute value function, we just have to look for its symbol, and this one. For linear function, the highest value of the exponent is 1. It's here. For cubic, the highest value of the exponent is 3, so this one. For greatest integer function, let's just look for its symbol, this one. And for rational function, would be this one. Let us define what rational expression is. Rational expression is an expression that can be written as a ratio of two polynomials. But what is a polynomial? A polynomial is an algebraic expression involving only positive integer, including zero, as powers of one or more variables and does not contain a variable in a denominator. Let's have some examples. X is a polynomial because the exponent of X here is the invisible one which is a positive integer. Let's have another one. 25x to the fifth power. This is also a polynomial, a combination of a constant and a variable raised to a positive integer. Let's have x squared minus 9. This is a polynomial. It is a binomial in particular because there are two terms. Let's have a longer one. Examine the exponents here. These are all positive integers. So this is a polynomial. A polynomial having one, two, three, four terms. Now, how about this one? We have here a denominator. But notice that the denominator is only a constant. There is no variable in the denominator. So this is still a polynomial. The condition is, does not contain a variable in a denominator. Since there is no variable here, again, this is a polynomial. Now, how about just a constant? Is it a polynomial? Constants are polynomial of zero degree. They are one term only that does not have variable. Constants are polynomials too. Let me explain further. Let us say this is 13 times x raised to 0. It says here, including zeros as powers of one or more variables. So this is a polynomial. And we know that x raised to 0 is equal to 1. So this will just become 13 raised to 1, and it is 13. Hence, 13, which is just a constant, is considered a polynomial. Let's have another activity, rational expression or not. First one, let us examine the numerator and the denominator. Is the numerator a polynomial? The exponents are all positive integers and this is a constant. Yes, this is a polynomial. How about the denominator? Is this a polynomial? Yes, this is a polynomial. So a polynomial, divided by another polynomial is a rational expression. Another one, is this a polynomial? Yes, it is. How about this one? Yes. So again, a polynomial divided by a polynomial is a rational expression. Another one, this one, is this a polynomial? x squared plus 4x minus 3? Yes, it is. How about 2 here? Yes, this is a polynomial. A polynomial divided by a polynomial. So this is a rational expression. How about this one? Is square root of x plus 1 all over x cubed minus 1. 
If we are going to convert a square root of x plus 1, this will become quantity x plus 1 raised to 1 half. Now, our exponent is not an integer, but a fraction. Since the numerator is no longer a polynomial, even though our denominator is a polynomial, this is not a rational expression. Again, the numerator is not a polynomial because the exponent is not an integer. Last one, is this a polynomial? If we are going to simplify this expression, this will become x minus 2 all over x plus 2. x minus 2 is a polynomial. x plus 2 is a polynomial. Polynomial divided by a polynomial is a rational expression. Now, let us distinguish rational equation, rational inequality, and rational function. Let us define first rational equation. It is an equation involving rational expression. Definition of rational inequality is an inequality involving rational expression. And for rational function, is a function of the form f of x is equal to p of x all over q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomial functions, and q of x is not equal to zero. So again, p of x and q of x should be polynomial. So polynomial over polynomial. And q of x is not equal to 0. Why? Because when you divide by 0, then the function will become undefined. So now let's have some examples. Let's start with rational equation. All you have to do is to examine both sides of the equation. Both sides should be a rational expression. So 2 over x is a rational expression as well as 3 over 2x. 1 over 5 is a rational expression. And then make sure that there is an equal sign because it is an equation. So there should be an equal sign. Rational expression on the left side, rational expression on the right side, and there is an equal sign that is a rational equation. Let's have an example for rational inequality. So examine both sides of the inequality symbol. The left side should be a rational expression. The right side should also be a rational expression. And this time, there should be an inequality symbol. So it could be less than, greater than, less than, or equal to, or greater than, or equal to. Now, for the rational function, both numerator and denominator must be a polynomial functions. So, let's have an example. Let's take a look at the numerator. It is a polynomial. The denominator, it is also a polynomial. So, polynomial divided by a polynomial. Next thing to look, there should be the name of a function. So, the name of the function here is f of x and there is also an equal sign. For rational equation and rational inequality, we solve for the values of x. For rational function, we are given the relationship of x and y. Let's have some more examples. So, let us examine the left side. This is a rational expression. This is also a rational expression because this is a polynomial divided by a polynomial. So, rational expression on both sides of the equal sign that is a rational equation. Let's have another one for rational inequality. This is a rational expression. This is also a rational expression. When you move 6x to the other side, then you have rational expressions on both sides. And you have an inequality symbol in between. So therefore, this is a rational inequality. Another one for rational function. So x squared plus x minus 20 is a polynomial. x squared minus 3x minus 18 is also a polynomial. We have here the name of the function, which is y, and an equal sign. So this is a rational function. Now it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time.
Let us answer. Number one, is this a rational expression? No, it's not because of the square root. So not a rational expression. Number two, this is a polynomial divided by a polynomial. So this is a rational expression. X cubed is considered a rational expression. The denominator of this is 1. And we have an equal sign in between. So this is a rational equation. Number 3, this is a polynomial. The denominator of this is the invisible 1. We have y here and an equal sign. So this is a rational function. Number 4, is this a polynomial? No, it's not because we have here is square root of x. When converted into fractional exponent, this is x raised to 1 half. And 1 half is not an integer. So this is not a rational expression. Though our denominator is a polynomial, but since our numerator is not a polynomial, then it is no longer a rational expression. Last one, so we have here a polynomial and another polynomial and an inequality symbol in between. So this is a rational inequality. Gets? Our next topic is solving rational equations.